Well, for the first time in some 18 years, local sun worshipers will get the, the chance to enjoy Pleasure Beach. Earlier today, News 8 traveled by water taxi to the beach to give you an idea about what they'll find when they make that trip. From the mainland, it's just a short hop, about five minutes or so by water taxi, to get over to Pleasure Beach. This Saturday, for the first time since a major fire in 1996, destroyed cottages on the island and the bridge to get there, Pleasure Beach reopens for the public to enjoy. A number of improvements have been made ahead of the reopening, including this new walkway on the island, replacing the old one that was battered by years of stormy weather. But that's just for starters. We've rehabbed two buildings that are out here. Uh, we've prepared with uh, new locker rooms, restrooms, showers for the public to come out with the huge the beach area. Although the public will be allowed back onto this sandy spot, the Pleasure Beach of 2014 is a long way from its heyday of the 1940s and 50s, which featured an amusement park among other landmarks. Still, city police are ready for the next chapter. Big challenge to have uh, an island in the middle of the city um, that, that needs to be policed. And that means special patrols and lifeguards, in addition to restrictions to keep the partying in check. No alcohol, no cooking, um, but certainly uh, there's a, lots of sun, so bring plenty of sunscreen. And there will be two water taxis shuttling folks back and forth over to Pleasure Beach. There's no cost to ride, and they get started at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Mm.